Okay, I must say it is cold. Just fitted the fresh water tank underneath the van, right underneath where I'm stood actually. That's 80 litre from Barrett Tanks. Um, can't fault it really, love it. As I say I had a cack tank before, you can see some of the remnants of the wax oil that I've sprayed underneath it. So now I'm going to be installing the waste. Now the waste is, goes under the sliding door. Now the reason behind this is it's a 40 litre waste, so I don't think you need a big waste because I'm not going to want to be carrying water around with me. But the 40 litre, very thin tank goes underneath the sliding door, so that, that way if you want to have gas, uh, that goes and behind the rear passenger, uh, the rear driver's seat. Um, again, I wanted the shower behind the rear driver's seat, so my waste is going to drop down, and then I'm going to um, connect a waste pipe from that to the sink, and then feed that through into the waste tank on the other side. So it's just a better run for me. Both positions are good, under the sliding door or behind there. But for me, I think personally, the waste—I don't want a big waste tank, so it's going to go under there. So I'm going for it. So as mentioned in the at the beginning, I've got my waste tap, not going to need that now. I will put that on my newly fitted swivel base. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. It's from RJ Camber Solutions. Again, another great company. Um, let's not get distracted. So I've got my waste tank here. Inlet. So I've gone for a 40 mil bit wider because I'm going to connect the shower and the sink to that and it will just go into there and then this will provide be connected to that drain hose and that will just drain the tank when you get them delivered uh, they're not fitted again that's a safety precaution I guess for postage you don't want it getting damaged in the post so I've just fitted that in and just put a load of sicker flex around there to keep it secure these are the bits you get not the squash now these are galvanized so these won't rust which is good Galvanized steel, got your brackets, those are the, for the connections, so I won't be using those today as I'm not actually connecting it up. They go into the galvanized struts just to finish them off nicely. So I'll put them on in a second, and then I've got my washers and my nuts. Now, again, this one is going underneath that sliding door there. So I've raised the van up as much as I can on those little runners good for camping so if you haven't bought them get some anyway because they're great for leveling your van up if you're parking on fields and stuff like that so yeah I'm gonna have a look and get under okay so one of those holes I didn't need to drill the other one I did drill you can see them just dangling nicely there and then the other one you can see I've already put the wax oil on there to keep it protected and I've got them dangling so again, I'm going to wax oil there, and then hopefully the tank will go straight up. A little tip, I'm trying to install this fat, this one. I've got clips in there just softly, but I used a jack just to hold that up. I mean, obviously if you're doing it with two people, it's a bit easier. But yeah, I've used that just to uh, hold it up whilst I get those into place. I haven't tightened them up properly yet. But you can see they're ready to go, ready to tighten up to be uh, done.